Hi guys, welcome back, and we are finally back with our USA campaign in Victoria 3. I am Red Z, and today there is plenty of things we want to do. There's been a couple of updates since last we played, so a few things may have changed, but we are doing pretty well, 6th worldwide on our GDP, just going upwards and upwards. Loyalists are going down, and radicals are going up, which is never great, uh, but we're doing fine. Our population's skyrocketing, a lot of it from migration. Our living standard isn't really going up too much, but the more factories, the more things we build, the living standard should start coming up. We are trying to enact censorship right now, and that is basically just to make all these people happy, because, yeah, they, they're pretty unhappy right now. Neutral, a lot of them are neutral. But if we can make them happy, making uh, an acting censorship is not too bad. It gives us some more authority to play with as well. So it's not too bad a situation. We are in a diplomatic play for Senegal uh, up here. Whereabouts is this? Can we go to you? Wait, is it? No, because we we're already fighting these guys. Who's... Who? Who? What? Who? Who are we fighting? Oh, Mauritania. Oh! That's unreal. That is fantastic. If no one joins in that, that is brilliant. Because we will take this whole area just for ourselves. And then we might look at trying to unify a bit of this land. I've just also noticed... That we don't have a declared interest down here. So our colonies weren't actually growing. That was a bit of a mistake. Uh, Research-wise, we are going to go straight for malaria protection. It takes eight years, which is a long time. But it's going to be fine. And then we're also, once we have a look at our infamy, we're still fine. 0.1 infamy, guys. So we're going to have a look at trying uh, to bring another play against Mexico. Yes, Mexico. Are we not colonizing up here? Uh, I'm guessing we don't have an interest up here. Oh, we do. Uh, it's... No, we have both of those interests. Are we not colonizing? Why are we not colonizing up there? That's interesting. Anyway, oh, it might be. It looks like there's a war between the Hudson Bay Company and uh, the Iron Confederacy. That is an awesome name, by the way. The Iron Confederacy. What a name. Uh, sorry, before we get going, let us start improving our relations. Use a bit of our bureaucracy. Because it doesn't... Uh, infamy decay right now is not something we need. We don't have any infamy. So let's uh, improve with a few of the colonial players. That might be a bit of an issue uh, for us in the long run. Uh, Spain. I mean, Spain uh, has a bit of land in the Caribbean, as we can see. And now let's press play. We are continuing building. Yeah, they... Uh, oh. They did a peace treaty, but... The Iron Confederacy exists still. I don't know. Britain, what are you doing? Hmm. Ah, there. I'm guessing that was that. Uh, no one's joined this yet, have they? And I don't. I don't think anyone's going to want to join. No one's showing any interest. Interestingly enough, that is something we want to take definitely. Also, why does the Indian Territory not get automatically <laughs> integrated into our lands? I don't know. It's it's kind of weird. I wish they would. <laughs> they, they normally do when you uh, become a... Yeah, let's start colonizing up here as well. I don't know why that cancelled. Let's do that. Uh, but yeah, interestingly enough, they haven't been. In the past, they have been. So that's quite interesting. Okay, what's going on here with France? They are going after Kong. That's all the way down here. Okay, France. Um, that's really in an area we don't want you to have influence. But I don't want to get involved. As I've said, I don't want to get involved in these big European wars right now. Now, why are we losing so much cash? Let's have a look. Government buildings, construction goods, obviously, is a huge amount. Our military wages are down. Okay, we need to come to arms. I completely forgot about that. Are we not winning in this battle down here? 
yeah, we've won that one. We've pretty much conquered... We not conquered the whole thing yet? Really? Uh, and then the second front. What's going on here? Mandinka. No, it's not you. Where is the Mandinka? Bro, I'm so... Honestly, I'm so confused. Uh... I guess it's these guys? But what? Oh, okay. It's a separate people. I did not quite realize that straight away. <laughs> that was so dumb of me. God damn it. Uh, but yeah, it's a separate people. And it looks like we've just destroyed them anyway. And look at that. 53 defense is pretty decent for them. I think this war is definitely taking a toll on our economy. Um... But yeah, France going after Kong. Oh no, this Kong. There's two Kongs. Oh no, that's Congo. Oh god damn, bro. Oh, I'm all over the place today. But I guess France is going to clean up that little area over there. Uh, hopefully, we are now colonizing down here. Okay, we annex Boile. Yeah, and it's not even too long anymore. It's only about a thousand days in these high malaria areas. Which is absolutely superb for us. Uh, oh, France, that does not look good for you. I'm not going to lie. What is that graphical bug? I mean, we are playing on an older version of the game. I don't like looking at that. Uh, I'm sorry, France, but I'm not going to be looking at you anymore. <laughs> What's over here? Efficient, inefficient, yep. Yeah. More migration attraction. Trade agreement with France. I'll decline France, but I will accept with Britain. That will open up our market quite significantly. Uh, if we want trade routes with Britain, which we kind of do. I'm thinking, now that we've got that with uh, with Britain, let's take fabric and clothes. We are going to build some iron mines soon, so I'm not too bothered about that. So let's have a look. Uh, import trade routes. We want clothes. Uh, Britain? Well, do we already have... Why is... Oh, I didn't mean to do the Dahomey market. Why is the British market not available to us? Okay, we've annexed Mandinka as well. Okay, that's good for us. That's good for us. That's going to increase our radicals a little bit. Am I just being dumb here? Can I not see Britain's market? We already have a trade route for clothes from Britain. Ah. And it's like literally nothing. 15 clothes is not enough. Uh, we had fabric was the next option, wasn't it? Uh, da -da -da, fabric. Let's go. Uh, and we can't we can't bring from Britain. We'll go from Honduras, but it's just not enough. It's only 20. And look how much the deficit is. It's about a 1,000. Iron is a huge deficit as well. Well, that is pretty much because we're building a load of steel mills. I should probably have built the iron mines before the steel mills, really. But it'll be fine for the time being. We're building tooling workshops after this. And then textile mills, which we need the fabric for. Then iron mines. And then some more cotton plantations for more fabric. It's kind of a bit of the wrong way round, I would say. So let's uh, start getting these cotton plantations to the top. And we'll also start uh, pumping these iron mines up there as well. So we'll build these instead. So that we get the raw resources for the industry that's coming. Okay, industrialists are very happy. Armed forces are pretty neutral, so we'll take uh, the armed forces first. Gold discovered in Sonora. Brilliant. Spread the word. Spread the word. Gold fields are discovered. Now, while we're here, how much military do we have? So, uh, you have seven troops. You have two, and you have one. Uh, I'm thinking let's build some barracks, actually. So, let's build a few barracks in this area. And then we're going to put them to the top as well. I know I'm shuffling everything around. Uh, but we need some more troops for this, this battle with uh, Mexico. Don't think we can beat them just by doing nothing. How can we not conquer that as a state? 
we do not have we don't have an interest there, do we? How do we not have the interest there? Uh, well, I think we take it off Brazil. We don't need it in Brazil as much anymore. Happy with making... You know, I'd love Brazil to become our puppet or protectorate or anything like that. Even coming into the customs union. Minus 100 base reluctance. Genial and amical, amic ugh, amicable. I think we need to uh, keep improving with Brazil and eventually we'll get to that point. Okay, we got a free government reform. Right now, I'm quite happy with how we are. People in there are quite unhappy, but the Southern Planters are now neutral. The Evangelicals are unhappy, but we really don't care about those. Intelligentsia, who are the biggest group, are happy. The Industrialists are very happy, and the Rural Folk are happy. That's all that matters. Keeping the people that we really care about happy. That is horrendous to look at. I hope they finish this war soon so that... <laughs> That doesn't break the game or something. That would be terrible. But thank you, friends, for that. Ah, gold fields in Colorado now as well. So up here. Spread the word. Currently hiring for more gold field people. The dream. Two standard of living over there. That's fantastic. Let's go for that. We are now starting to lose money. I'm thinking about bringing our taxes up. It doesn't have any negative effect bringing it up. So let's do it. Brazilian talent. Just what our military needs. Okay. We see an opportunity to call in the obligation Brazil owes us by requesting the services of, command of their commanders. Hmm... I mean, I d like, why would I take this guy? He's a cruel traditionalist bandit and a supply requisitions expert, which is okay. <laughs> no thanks. Like, we have our own commanders, bro. The dream as well. Yep. Get that going. How are our colonies doing down here? Like we've said, they are still going. Good. Now we can press on uh, Iron Confederacy up here. No, I don't want to cancel it. Obviously, really quick. Really quick colonization up here. And eventually, at some point, we are going to want to take over Canada. Like all Americans dream, take over Canada. Um, <laughs> and we're going to take over the Iron Confederacy. We'll have a little tendril in Canada already. Just, just inside Canada. Just to let them know that we are here and we are here to stay. We are your big brother, Canada, okay? Uh, and we will not take any shit of you. So iron mines are going down. That is fantastic. Then we've got our cotton plantations. Then we've got our steel mills, which hopefully the iron, mile, iron mines will provide for. I can't speak today. I don't know what's going on. Then we've got our tooling workshops, which we have the steel for now. Uh, we do need some more wood for that. Then we've got the textile mills. But we're getting the cotton plantations for those. So that should be fine. Then we're making some ports around the world. Government administration to bring our bureaucracy back. Uh, from the brink, then we're looking at railways, dye, and sulfur. That is fine so far. Obviously, it would be nice to have a little bit more construction ability right now. Uh, now, these barracks I built in New York. They're still hiring. Only 5k employees. So, yeah, that's, I mean, that's fine. Plus five battalions in total. Hopefully they manage to hire up, and then we get a few more battalions. Uh, we can conscript, of course, but it's not great, is it? Now let's have a look. Mm, the only people that might join are Russia, Britain, and the Hudson Bay Company. Mexico and El Salvador. I mean, El Salvador isn't going to be a problem, is it? I think... I mean, the thing is, we can pretty much do what we did last time and just try and naval invade behind them. And then they split all their troops and they don't know what to do. Seven infamy for Utah. Sounds like a bit of an over... <laughs> Overvaluing of Utah there. I'm sorry, people from Utah. <laughs> uh, but no, we are going to continue with this and we're going to put in a lot of states. I want to conquer, obviously, this corner. So we're going to go for Arizona. Uh, let's go for Arizona. California is going to be the biggest one that we want to take. 
eight infamy for that. And so we've gone California, we've gone Utah and Arizona. We need Nevada now. And then we have Baja, California. Wait, we can't. Oh, there we are. Now let's have a look at our infamy now. We're now infamous with 36. I honestly... I don't think it's worth coming down here to Durango or even Sinaloa. Yeah, it's, it's not worth it. It's going to be fine. I want to just, you know, stop Mexico being split in half. It's slightly rubbish for them, but it'll be fine. Uh, and then let's uh, mobilize our boys. We're also... We will activate some conscripts. Um, a few of them. Not all of them. Let's have a look. We'll just activate a few big blocks. So we'll activate 29 in Pennsylvania. We'll activate 46 in New York. And let's activate... Ooh, not 24 in the Niger Delta. 25 in Ohio. That would have been terrible getting the ones for the Niger Delta. Because those troops are not set up for war. Ah! El Salvador abandoned their support for Mexico. The only thing is if Russia or Britain joins, that would be a nightmare. But hopefully it doesn't happen. They have a total of six mobilized battalions. Seven out of nine. We have 16 out of 24. So they are slowly mobilizing. 111. Oh, Russia. Come on, Russia. Really? Really, Russia? I mean, what's Russia going to do, though? They don't actually border us anywhere. I'm willing to risk this, guys. I'm willing to risk this. I think we have to. I think it's worth it. Large numbers of Welsh people are coming to Louisiana. Yes! Bring rugby with you, my friends. Bring rugby with you. Stop them playing American football. Ah, <laughs> oh, well. Uh, censorship still at 55%. That's a decent amount. Our colonization down here, I've got to say, is going fantastically well. Still incredibly annoyed by this. What is that? <laughs> I really want these guys to um, to rebel against us. Then we could uh, then we can take this whole region and cut Britain off from this area because they are looking like they are going to cut us off right now. We have one available colony. Okay, cool. Darakuti up here. Daralkuti. We'll keep on going. If we can, uh, you know, go down this whole coast, we basically have free reign into here. France and Portugal too, but they are so far behind with their technologies that I think we'll be, uh, we'll be in a decent situation. So how are we looking on these fronts? Yeah, war has broken out. I mean, Russia has 316,000 troops, 316 battalions already mobilized. That is... Why? Why, Russia? That is just stupid. What do you want to do out of this? What does Russia want out of this war? Literally just returning Rio Grande and return to Norway. Russia doesn't want anything, so why join the war, bro? It makes zero sense. It's hard to see these now. Now they've updated it. Like, it just says 100. You can't see... Bro, it was better when you could see what's going... Like, the troops on the border. Like, now you have to press on it. That's not streamlining. That's just being stupid. Really. Yeah, come on. We are, we are starting to win these, these fights. We, we really just need to take the coast so Russia can't press into our lands. Because uh, that would be incredibly annoying. So we have 11 troops here and no one there. Rifling was successfully completed. Good. Uh, France has eventually conquered Kong. Wait, what? Wait, what's what's going on? France lost against Kong? France! What is wrong with you, bro? France lost against Kong. No way. I don't think I've ever seen that before in this game. And I've played it quite a bit. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a colonial power lose one of their battles. One of their uh, war wars. <laughs> Unless, uh, obviously, without... The impact of an outside power. Yeah, let's do that. That's good. Um, how are our buildings? We're now on the cotton plantations. So let's have a look at our market quickly. Yeah, it's fabric that's suddenly 
the thing that's in huge demand. We've got a lot of coal deficit as well. So I will actually queue a few of those uh, buildings in there. We've got no places for, for gold mines. Uh, where do we already have coal? We have it in Ohio. I'm thinking down south here. Try and spread out the load so we get less peasants in a lot of these regions. And you can see we actually don't have many regions with a load of peasants. Actually, Kentucky's got a large amount. So, uh, Virginia. Yeah, Virginia's only got 1k peasants now. That's fantastic. So, thinking we go for another 8 coal mines in Kentucky. How much does one coal mine produce? 55 per level. So another 8 is another 400. How much do we need? Yeah, that, that should bring us even. Groceries as well is a big thing. So let's have a look at getting a food industry plant set up somewhere. We don't have many. That is why. Uh, Kentucky, again, is a good option. We could also go for Tennessee. Let's, let's just go for 7 here to bring it up to 10 as well. How much does that make? I mean, 60 liquor and 65 groceries. I mean... It's going to be close. <laughs> it's going to be close. But it should hopefully be just enough. How are we doing on these fronts? What's going on here? Why have you joined this front? That's the wrong front to join, bro. There's no Mexicans on this border at all. And we need to get in there before the Russians come. I mean, it's the Cold War early now, isn't it, guys? <laughs> it's starting the Cold War early. USA versus Russia. Early. Early mode. Uh, plus 5% prestige. Now, we want more wine throughput. I want to be richer. I don't care about my prestige. Let's destroy these uh, last few Mexican uh, resistors over here. Right on the tip of Yucatan. And then we want to clean up this area and that area. And then it should be an E... I don't want to say it. I don't want to jinx it. Should be a quick victory. But look at this. The radicals are going to go up a huge amount. Everyone's kind of happy, though. I I'm surprised our radicals are going up so much. It must be because of our standard of living decreases. Um, we're also trying to enact censorship. Wait, how long is this taking, bro? Law enactment is currently stalled from an illegitimate government. Ah, uh, legitimacy is gone. Uh, right. So, this is one of the changes that I haven't actually had uh, time to play with. So, how do we get this legitimacy up? Okay, they didn't want... Who was it? It wasn't the Petit Bourgeois. So, I mean, the Intelligentsia, to me, are the most legitimate. Industrialists, they, no one wants the Industrialists. Trade Unions, neither. Petit Bourgeois, neither. Rural Folk, neither. So it's pretty much... I mean, we can bring it up with the Southern Planters. We can't even reform... We can reform that, even though they're angry. So I guess they've changed that as well. I don't want these guys in. They're all the people we don't like. So, let's go for that. 25% radicals is never good. If we could just pop that over. I really need some more authority to start bolstering the intelligentsia support. Need 200 authority for that. Um, but if... I mean... Yeah, no one wants the industrialists. I don't know why. Why do you not want the industrialists? Well, we'll reform it to there anyway for now. That's probably why our radicals has gone up so much. It's only 6.8k extra radicals a month. How much was that? Minus three. So a few people should be a bit more happy now. Keep going with this war. This is so annoying having to hover over this to see how the war is going. Yeah, that that like that change is not not welcome. Uh, but the the rest of the changes. I mean that 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 government thing actually makes the government worthwhile. Look at that GDP. I know we've just fallen behind someone, but that is huge. Uh, we're still building steel mills. How long do these take to build, bro? 
I want to build our textile mills. That's a lot of textile mills. The ports and government administration is going to be huge. Okay, we just did a huge amount of conquest there. So, predominantly Mexican in a lot of these places. That's fine. As I say, we've... Uh, what's the population? Not so big. But there's like hardly any peasants in these areas. And they already have stuff built, which is great. Okay, they're starting to hire now. They'll get a bit of immigration into these places so that they can fully hire once again. Sulfur in California is good. And gold fields. Well, I mean, we look a lot healthier now, don't we? Would be nice if we had this bit of Mexico as well. Oh, Goddamn revolution. Gr brewing again. Why? <laughs> Petit bourgeois. Oh, I thought you were, I thought you were positive. No, they're angry. The southern planters are only on minus six, bro. Armed forces are only on minus two. That doesn't seem appropriate for them to be brewing revolution because they're on minus two. I don't know. I just don't get the revolution system at all. It seems stupid. Because, <laughs> like, these guys don't even have power anymore. They've only got 14% clout. Like, look, right, so... The industrials have 22% clout. The most clout. I guess these guys together are... These guys together are a bit, a bit unhappy. Why are you so unhappy, bro? Why would you be revolutionary? I... I... Ah. Uh, I hate you and your close-minded ways, fools. Whatever. We'll see what they do. Oh, look at that look at that amount of radicals. It's blowing up. Gold has been uh gold fields in Sonora, that's good. Have you not seen what we have done for this country? We have made it the great United States of America and everywhere else in the world. <laughs> Austria has sided with revolutionary Haiti. God damn it. Well, I think uh, laws-wise, then, we will try and go for... Where was the freedom of speech? Was, yes, yeah, censorship that we wanted... ...to change. And that would really help out with a lot. Let's look for any... Let's look for some free... Free rule changes that might make people happy. No. Well, I uh, don't know what that was, and I don't mean to do that. Uh, I mean, there's not much we can really do. So, the evangelicals hate it, and so do the planters. That doesn't help us in the slightest. It does help the armed forces for some reason. Thinking... Like, charity hospitals. That's plus 10 for the evangelicals. Mm, industrialists don't like it. That private health insurance. That just makes the industrialists happy. Mm. So we'd need the evangelicals or trade unions in our government, which we can't do right now. Ugh, we're a bit stuck with our politics. Sounds like normal America. Deadlock. <laughs> Political deadlock. Completely. That's quite nice. We've got Guinea and Windward Coast. Uh, let's have a look at some of these unproductive. I mean, minus 15 is not worth it. Some of these might be worth it. Uh, only 20 fabric is not worth it. Clothes, I'm definitely going to keep that one. 780 clothes. These ones have tiny amounts. It's... Not worth 200 sulfur. I'll take that. That's inactive. And these ones look all fine. Yeah, we'll leave the rest of those. Fabric is still a huge issue, but we should be getting towards building uh, the uh, cotton mills. Oh, no, we've built the cotton. Oh, God. So, even with all that cotton that we've built, we're still hugely behind... Um, bureaucracy. It's quite good, actually. It gives us a lot of things. 
So where have we built our cotton plantation? South Carolina has been the main one. Alabama as well. I'm thinking we just go bang. Ten. <laughs> Ten more in Alabama. And uh, building wise, obviously the tooling workshops will be good. All these textile mills, that's too much. I think that's too much, honestly. Although we, ah, we do need the clothes. It's just we have a huge deficit of fabric. Someone give us fabric. And give us the most you can. 20 is not enough. We need hundreds. Hundreds of fabric. <laughs> um, hmm. This is... We're getting a bit stuck here, really, aren't we? So I'm thinking... I mean, the tooling workshops, fair play. We need to build those. We can't just keep putting off building our government administrations because we need the bureaucracy back. 17.3% tax waste. I mean, it's not too bad. We're, we're still in positive tax, so add some government expenditure. That's fine. Colonization up here is, is going pretty well. We just need to block Britain off here so that they don't just cut us off. That would be really annoying. Then down here we need to cut off the coast as well so that we get access to this whole region. These can be very lucrative regions, especially when you start getting rubber. There's iron in here as well. Water tube boiler. I mean, that's good. We should actually have a look through our buildings and see whether there's any upgrades that we can do that will increase our money. Let's go for the patent stills. Makes less groceries, but more liquor. Hmm. I don't... Yeah, I don't think that's going to really help us too much. I mean, making more clothes, but it consumes more fabric. And right now, we, we can't do that. We just can't do that. Um, go for Craftsman. So 30k substitution for that. Then no thank you. More tools, less laborers for these mechanized looms. Um, I don't think we can afford to do that with our standard of living coming down right now. Furniture workshops, mechanized workshops. More tools and more wood, but makes more furniture. I think we're fine for furniture right now. Could go for precision tools. No, I mean, it's, it's fine. For water tube boiler. I mean, I, as I say, I don't want to get rid of all our labor right now. Go for Bone China. That just takes more dye, which is fine, and gives more shopkeepers. And gives us money. I think that's perfect. Tooling workshops, I think we'll be fine with the uh, uh, with the steel tools. That's definitely, definitely something we want to do. Paper mills, paper bleaching. Uh, I don't want to do the water tube boiler again, like I said. Chemicals. Uh, we can go for the ammonia sodium process. More explosives. But it takes more sulfur, definitely. A water tube boiler again, no thank you. Motor Industries water tube boiler, no thank you. Uh, engine production and steam engines, yep. Shipyards, we can go for reinforced sh wooden ships. I think that's no. Military shipbuilding, yes. Arms Industries rifles and smooth bores, yep, perfect. Uh, urban centers, we can't really afford to change anything. Go for the standardized filing system. That gives us 3,700 mule bureaucracy. But, oh my days, look at this. So that's 17k substitution. This is one. It just takes a bit more paper, but look at that. 228,000 more clerks and 2,850. 50 more bureaucracy if they get fulfilled. So we're going to try that. I don't think all those places are going to get fulfilled uh, straight away, but <laughs> it'll be fine. Yep, harvesting tools. We're all good on these. Make sure on intensive grazing and also slaughterhouses. It's going to take more tools, but that's fine. I'm not. Well, I don't want to go down to condensing engine pump just yet. Same thing with the iron mines. Um, do I want nitroglycerin, though? Don't think we have the explosives just yet for all these. Gold mines, on the other hand... 
Yeah, let's uh, let's pump it up to atmospheric engine for gold mines and potentially nitroglycerin. Yeah, we'll we'll build up for that. All these are fine. Logging camps, yep, yeah, we've got different methods for that. Okay, cool. That's really helped out a lot of things. And we're going to have to look at our next target. We just took Mexico. We're back down to reputable. So our, with our uh, bonus of bureaucracy, we are losing a lot a year. Five a year base decay plus an extra 0.1 a week, which is actually uh, fantastic. That is really good. So we are losing uh, infamy very quickly. And I think after this, I think we just need to go on a bit of a rampage in Africa and clean this area up. So Britain can't... Uh, so that we basically own this part of West Africa. And that we can uh, keep colonizing up here even if Britain does block us off. Which looks very likely that they're going to do. I'd rather you colonize like, along the coast, guys. That is one thing. I'd rather you colonize along the coast rather than these inland areas. Uh, but, oh well. I can't choose where you go, so it's fine. Uh, down here, it is a bit annoying that Chile has taken this these little little regions, but that's fine. We'll we'll be we'll be okay. Uh, we have got low market access. Yes, we do. Uh, Virginia has low market access. Okay. Are we building anything to rectify that? We are building a railway. Okay. American Alberta. Former colony is now a proper state. That's this. Cool. Uh, are you a... Yeah, we need to have a look at our states as well. That should be going... Uh, that should be going down, but it's just the amount of clerks that we'll need. Let's have a look if it's some of these government administrations. Oh, they do have uh, they do have full amount of employees. So really, our bureaucracy should be going up uh, up quite a bit, but it doesn't look like it at the minute. Oh well, it's fine. I did change it to everywhere, didn't I? Let's have a look. Yeah, we did change it to everywhere. Oh, I guess it's it was only like an extra thousand bureaucracy. But we're still not seeing that uh, as an actual effect. I mean, we're starting to build some... We're starting to build the textile mills. And then it's the ports. And then it's the government administration. Those government administrations should take us back into the positive. And then I want to have a look at... Incorporating a lot of these states... How much is the cost? 25, 25. I mean, I think we get it started now. Take the cost. And we'll uh, reset the cost later. And we'll incorporate every single one that we can. Some of these fully colonized states can now be incorporated, which is fantastic. It's taken us back to minus 900. But that's fine. I think we'll be okay. But anyway, guys, I think that's going to be it for today. Another war against Mexico completed, and we're a lot bigger. Uh, and things are going okay. We are, you know, upsetting a lot of these folks. And not really <laughs> have too much to, uh, to come back at them with. But it's fine. It's fine. We'll be fine. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. Please do like and subscribe. All that good stuff. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.